The angle of depression from the top of a 42-foot building to the base of a street lamp is measured to be 30 degrees. Estimate the distance x from the building to the street lamp. Okay, the first number they gave us was 42 feet. So let's go ahead and label the building here. So 42 feet is the height of that. Next, they gave us the angle of depression. Now the angle of depression is from the horizontal. So the angle of depression from that horizontal down here, you can see, is labeled at 30 degrees. Okay, so with this il illustration, we can see this is our 90 degrees, and I'm looking at this right triangle right here. So looks like we can get this angle because these two angles right here are alternate interior angles and those happen to be equal so this is 30 degrees as well now with this illustration I can see I have the the length of the side opposite and I want to know the side adjacent so opposite over adjacent tangent comes to mind I know tangent of theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. Okay, so in this particular case, I'll look at this 30 degrees. I could say tangent of 30 degrees is equal to the 42 over x, right? That's the opposite over the adjacent. So 42 over x. Now that's our setup, and then from here we'll use algebra to solve for x. All right, so we can multiply both sides by x. That's the same thing as cross multiplying. We get x times tangent of 30 degrees equals 42. Those x's cancel. And then dividing by tangent of 30 degrees, both sides, tangent of 30 degrees. We get here these cancel, and so we get x equals 42 over tangent of 30 degrees. Now I know tangent of 30 degrees is exactly equal to square root of 3 over 3. So that's equal to 42 times 3 over square root of 3. That's just the 42 times the reciprocal of the denominator. Now really quick, I'll go ahead and rationalize this x exactly equals 42 times 3 times the square root of 3, that's all the numerators there, divided by the square root of 9, which is just 3. Okay, and then these 3's cancel, and we know then x is exactly equal to 42 square root of 3 feet. Okay, now that's the exact answer. Now what we want to do is present that as a decimal. So I'll go ahead and type that into a calculator. And when I do that, I'll say x is approximately equal to 72.7 feet. And that's the answer I'll present. Now we could have gotten that same answer if we would have typed this into the calculator. And I encourage you to try that. Make sure you're in degree mode when you type this in. So that'll give you the answer for x in the calculator without going through these calculations. But it's good to know how to do this because we did know we were supposed to memorize that tangent of 30 is square root of 3 over 3. And it's nice to have the exact answer too.